Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with the first impression of the Divinity palette from Strobe Cosmetics. I have the Creepy Cute and I love that. And then this came out and I was like, I want that so bad, but for me it's pretty expensive to buy from the US. And then Annette convinced me for a while that I didn't need this one, but I really wanted it. So I think it was Valentine's Day sale or something like that. I don't know. I bought it on sale and now it's here. So I'm going to do a first impression with this. That was not palette. <laughs> I'm going to do a first impression with this and I think I also will swatch it because this is untouched. And I think I know what I want to do, but I want to swatch it. So if we're going to talk a little bit about the palette, it looks like this. It is an 8 pan palette and it's two shimmers on this one and this one and then it's got the mirror and one thing that really separates this one from the creepy cute this have not so strong it has strong magnets but the creepy cute palette it's like insanely strong um so yeah I'm going to swatch this for you so we will see how it looks. So I will start here and then go. Go as they are. And the creepy cute, the shadows are so creamy, and these are also really, really creamy. I don't know if I can pronounce the names. This is Heather. 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 I don't know if you can see it. Is it bright shimmer one with pink you can see it and this is ocean 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 maybe I just write the names and this color is the one that I am most excited for you maybe know why and then we have the other sh oh that was so freaking creamy and it looks amazing and then this shade I was also pretty excited about. And the other row, first we have uh, this one. It was not a good swatch. And there we have them all. And I am so excited for this. <laughs> so freaking excited and I really don't know which shades I want to use. Okay, so I'm gonna take away the swatches, I'm gonna think a little bit about what I want to do and then I will come back. Okay, so I think I know what I want to do. I think I'll start with this yellow one or this yellowy mustard and I'm really not sure what I want to do. I will take this in my crease. Just my inner crease, my whole crease. Maybe just in here. This is not a good brush. I take this brush instead. This is from NYX. It's 16. I don't know if it has any other names. It only says 16 on the brush. And then I'm going to go in with this green one and put it both in my crease but also on my lid. I think I will try. I hope that these two goes, goes good together. And they do. I want this maybe a little bit more grungy. If it even turns out crunchy, I don't know. So I will start with it in my crease. Something like that. And then I will go in with it on my lid as well. And first I was like, maybe I'm going to do 
the purple shimmer on my lid and in this look but then I was like no I do not want to do it I want to do something pretty simple but hopefully a little bit cool but you know me that's maybe not my thing I am best at to do cool looks I really like this green it's like a green I don't have this like I don't know how to describe it maybe like a mossy green I don't really know but I really like it and I think I will go in with the yellow one just to make the blending a little bit better here in my crease that I think I think it looks pretty okay so I will go in with with this one and put it in my outer corner to deepen it down and also deepen down my crease a little bit and I really I like the look of this but I think it's it's not my strong side to do this but if you're not practicing you will never learn I try to think like that and you can't be good at everything at once and I want to deep take it in my crease but only like where I have the green and not where I have the yellow because I want that to not yellow the mustard mustardy shade okay so I think I'm satisfied with the lids like this I hope you don't think it's too boring I wanted to do something pretty simple but also maybe a little bit grungy if this is grungy I don't know so I will fix my base take away the fallouts I got some fallouts but that is mainly because I <laughs> never do my base first so I don't mind fallouts I don't try to not have them so me is not a good example if a palette gives fallouts or not because I just don't care and just slap the color on so I will fix my base take away the fallouts and then I will be back and we do the under eyes I will choose a lipstick we will see what I'm going with, so I will be back in just a sec. So the face is on, and now we're going to do the under eyes, and I think I will go... I will do the same. Because I like how this is looking. So I will do the same, and I think I will start with the mustard shade. And put it in here. And then I will go in with the green one and put it on the rest of my lower lash. And something that really, really annoys me when I'm putting on shadow on my lower lash my bottom lashes are so freaking long and like curly you can't see them but they are so long so it's so hard they're just like in the way and I have even thought about cutting them off I don't know if I'm going to do that but I, it has been I have thought about it and that's why I never put mascara on them because they are so freaking long and I just think they are in the way. Okay, so I think something like this. And I will also love to go in with this shade in my inner corners. But I don't know if I have a brush. But I have started to think, should I use my finger? Because Betty Jean does it and 
it really blends out nice but that's your thing <laughs> not my thing Betty Jean but I love when you're doing that and you kind of inspires me to want to do that but I'm not I'm not 100% convinced say take my brush and should I spray this I will try without spraying it first because this is the first shimmers I test from strobe because it's only matte shadows in the creepy cute and I don't know if this will stick to my okay Betty Jean this is for you I really hope you can see this okay so I think this will this have to do it so I will put on mascara a lipstick and I don't really know what I want to take for a kind of lipstick I will put on lipstick mascara and then also a liner in my waterline and then I come back with the, the finished look and my first thought of this palette not a review just my first thought what's about it for my first impression so okay i picked the lipstick for this and you can guess first which color it is and then you can try to figure out which shade it is if i give a little hint it's nabla and of course it is the hanging rock this is my little lipstick baby and I think I have to go and break my low buy to buy one more of them because this I think this is running low like for the first time in my life I think a liquid lipstick is running low and I am like how can this happen um yeah okay this was not about lipstick so I put a yellow pen in my wash line I think it's Happy Mood from Linda Holberg and the Hanging Rock on my lips and this is the finished look and even though my hair is flat I like this look as you know I like red lips with green eyes I just think it goes very good and like this toned down red maybe not so toned down but red with the green and I I like this palette it is not such a standout palette as the Creepy Cute because the, the Creepy Cute is a pastel palette like the only true pastel palette I have ever seen and the only true pastel palette I have but this one is also... I like the color story of this and I think it's pretty unique and I think it goes good with Strobe's style I don't know if I think the front of the palette matches the shadows. I, I don't mind because I like the palette. So my first impression of this palette is it is a good palette. The shades are easy to work with. They are easy to blend together. They are easy to blend out. They are easy to apply. It's a good palette. Just it's creepy cute. So I'm glad I bought this one. And it's going to be so fun to do something with this. And with this, uh, I cannot look like this, with the purple glitter shade that looks amazing and also this one and this one. So do you want me to do a free looks one palette with this? I hope you want that because I want to do one or maybe two looks one palette, I don't know. So yeah, my first impression, it's a good palette. I think it's worth the money. So my first impression is really good and I hope that you would want to see more with this. And yeah, this was all for my first impression. And I hope you liked this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!